everybody, and welcome back to Slay the Princess, which uh, I gotta say, I'm doing a pretty good job of it. <laughs> uh, two down, you know. Uh, I really have been debating whether I should, you know, stop <laughs> killing these women. But uh, no, I'm putting my foot down. I'm, I'm slaughtering them, dude. Like, I, I'm... I'm for it now. Like I, I've done my, I've spent the week, you know, like going over it in my head and debating and everything. And nah, uh, they dying for sure. Uh, last time we had a, a, a ton of fun. Uh, <laughs> got to saw that uh, saw that girl's arm off, which uh, yikes. And then uh, and then we got to kill ourselves. So it's it's a fun time all around. Uh, definitely definitely looking forward to more of the absolutely disturbing crap that's in this game dude uh but last time we left off we're approaching the mirror you make your way to the door at the end of the room stopping just in front of it you must think you're looking at that mirror you mentioned earlier the one that doesn't exist just reach forward and open the door you got it it's buddy still so hazy we should try and clean it off yes trying to touch it does seem to be the magic spell to get it out of our way yeah, and this guy. This guy's just me, and I hate it. <laughs> I thought the skeptic was going to be more up my tree, but the depression just got a hold of me. Maybe it won't disappear this time, and we'll finally get a good look at ourselves. We should explore every option. I mean, we did, kind of, but we lost our memories, and I just don't know why that circle back didn't... It, but you know what? Fuck. Forget it. Wipe it clean. You reach nope. forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. Our nice the handle is just a little to your right. And a little disgusting down. hand. Yeah, we can see it now. So much for our reflection. We didn't need to see ourselves anyway. I'm much more interested in seeing other things. Damn it. He's me, dude. <laughs> no way left to go but damn. All right, let's get in there. Let's see what this one's all about. The door to the basement oh, grows shit. open. Hello. The air is foul and wet, so thick that you can almost feel it settle onto your skin in layers of grime. The stairs are coated with slimy algae, the wood rotted through in places, reeking of fetid vegetation. Okay, hold up. I just got it. Algae? What? I've always heard it pronounced algae. Am I crazy? Nah, I ain't even gonna get into that. <laughs> a wispy figure watches you from the bottom of the stairs, face veiled in shadows, legs submerged up to her shins in dark waters. Oh, okay. This is definitely different. There she is again. Yep. Hello. I love you. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Don't hurt me. She's just an old memory. Your eyes lock for a brief moment, then she vanishes around the corner. All right, time to follow. Uh, I'm sorry about last time. Are we good? Is anyone there? Uh, I think we have a lot to talk about. I don't have a weapon. There wasn't anything upstairs for me when I got here. Proceed downstairs. Oh, is anyone there? You receive no response. That's awesome. That's you sick. Think she's upset with us. I don't like being here unarmed after what happened last time. I feel so exposed. Can we just like, like Rainbow Six lean around the corner there and just get a peek of she what's going on? She's fully there. I'm not sure she's even capable of being upset. That's true. Who knows if ghosts could hurt us in this world? Who knows what the you fuck is going on? Helping. Are you scared of a little ghost? What's she going to do? Look at us until we feel bad. She can look all she wants. It won't do anything. Okay, so his confidence there really kind of put me at ease that this ghost ain't gonna do anything, ain't gonna fuck with us. So let's continue. Let's go down the stairs, shall we? As you descend the final step, the uh -oh. form of the princess comes into view. A bloated body floating face down in slowly rising waters. Her wrist still bound to the wall by a heavy chain. So we went. Moving on. <laughs> this cell is a dark and isolated place, with not so much as a window to allow starlight to penetrate the gloom. See? She's dead. 
Okay, then what are we doing here? She's not just dead. It looks like she's been rotting. So killing her does stick. Mostly. But if she's dead, then what are we supposed to do? That's what I'm saying, dude. Are we supposed to just kill her again? I mean, I'm down, but... She isn't dead. You clearly just believe she is. Okay. Her corpse is floating right in front of us. You can stop it with the mind games. If she's dead, then... Do we even have to do anything? How can she be a threat to the world like this? Maybe just push her down a little further into the water there? <laughs> Your thoughts are cut short by the sound of a slamming door. Oh, God damn it. Awesome. You turn to see the shade oh, of the no. princess staring down at you from the top of the stairs. So that's where the blade is. It's already in her heart. And yet she isn't dead. But the fact that she could close and lock the door is very concerning. That she has, she can physically manipulate things. Ah, here we go, fun time. She is dead. Have you never heard of a ghost before? Oh, for the love of, can we not waste time arguing over the semantics <laughs> of what is and isn't dead? She is clearly conscious. She clearly just slammed the door on you and she clearly has a weapon your pristine blade sticking out of her chest. This is extremely bad. Catastrophic, even. I'd say so, but also, if she does just kill me, I'd just restart anyway. <laughs> so I'm not too, too concerned. I'm just a little uh, freaked out at the moment. Yeah, dead or not, what are we supposed to do about her? Slaying or destroying, if we want to be a little more death neutral, <laughs> seems off the table. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, what was it in Doom? The mortally challenged? That was hilarious. Yeah, this is tricky. But let's talk to her. See what kind of information she has that we don't. I don't know if she's gonna fucking talk to us, dude. One of them's just gonna give us some bubbles, and then the other one, I don't... I don't know if it can talk. But she hasn't said anything. Are you sure she can talk like this? That's what I'm saying, dude. to come back here after what you did. Okay, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like that. All right. Why'd you close the door? Let me out. Are you trying to kill me? Of course, dumbass. Uh, what's wrong with you? I don't want this. I only killed you after you killed me first. We're even now. We don't need to do this again. Please, I'm begging you. I'll do anything. Just don't let me drown. Uh, this is about last time. I'm sorry. Rush for the blade or rush for the door. Now, can you let me out? Let me see here. I mean, why'd you lock the door, I guess? But she doesn't answer your question. Okay. All she does is watch you in shadowed silence. Do you hear that trickling sound? The water's rising, isn't it? Yeah, but like, it doesn't sound like it's fast. It is, and it's rising fast. Okay. <laughs> Uh, fuck me and my, my ears, I guess. Well, that's interesting. We've never drowned before. I wonder how it'll feel. Alright, that dude needs to calm the fuck down. <laughs> Bad, I bet. Yeah. I don't think dying ever feels good. Well, I'm sure, like, heroin or something. <laughs> like, it's, like, at the point where it's, like, yeah, it, it doesn't feel... I'm not gonna get into this. <laughs> yes, how astute. Dying is bad and you should avoid it. How about you stop trying to talk to her and do something instead? Hmm. Uh, well. I only killed you after you killed me first. Please, I'm begging you, I do anything. Don't let me drown. Maybe we do this. Maybe we. Beg and plead, and then she'll let her guard down. Pathetic. Yep. Oh, woe is me. The water is rising faster now. It's flowing in from some unseen place, and judging by the height of the algae on the stairs, it has no intention of stopping any time soon. You feel it creeping up your back, so cold that it steals the very warmth from your flesh, leaving a smothering numbness in its place. 
Okay, we're gonna... Are you really just going to stand there and let yourself die? No, we're not. Yeah. Let's think. Where is it coming from? It's coming from some unseen place. Clearly. <laughs> Does it really matter where it's coming from? Because I can feel it rising. I don't think we have much time to sleuth. Okay. Yes, it matters. Maybe we can find a way out. Maybe we can figure out a way to make this work. This is just a puzzle. We can solve it. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> Some things aren't puzzles to be solved. God damn it. Sometimes you're doomed from the start. Most people are. Can you stop? Can you just get out of my head, brother? Yes, most people are doomed. But in case you need reminding, everyone will be doomed forever unless you stop her. I don't know how I'm going to stop a ghost with a knife that's already in her chest. So, uh, send it, I guess? Fuck it. The princess eyes you with a disaffected gaze as you rush up the stairs, but you don't make it past the first few steps. Uh, why? The door bursts open, a powerful wave of water crashing down towards you. You're swept up in the flood. Your head slams into the basement wall. Yeah, I'd say uh, doomed from the start, definitely. You come to a moment later, suspended in darkness, disorientated, only aware of the surface of the water and the emptiness above. And of course, the princess hovering above you, watching in silence as you struggle to stay afloat in the icy depths. There's no way out. Thank you, narrator. That's very uh, comforting. Also, how the fuck am I supposed to kill this one? What the hell? It's so dark and cold. I think our limbs are slowing down. How much longer can we do this? I don't know. Just keep breathing. We'll figure this out. If it's super cold, you know, then you got to worry about hyperthermia and shit. Won't. It doesn't matter either way. I mean, honestly, he's fucking right. <laughs> Let's be real. Just going to start us over. But you don't have time to figure anything out. Something cold and clammy wraps around your ankle. Uh-oh. You're dragged under, only able to take one last hopeful gulp of air before your head is plunged into the freezing depths. Is she pulling me down, her actual body? As you body? sink below the surface, you see it. Ah, uh, yeah. Or rather, you see her. The body you found floating when you first arrived, its hand is locked around your ankle, the heavy chains pulling you both down into the unfeeling suffocating nothingness okay first of all gross second of all look at my leg gross what the hell oh ew look the chains are like they're like form bubbled up she's all swollen all right i'm gonna i'm gonna do everything i can to put this bitch out of her misery <laughs> i get it we shouldn't have killed her just get it away from us please the past is the past there's no change in it there's nothing to fix. Well, I could start over. <laughs> I could just go here and, and, and uh, GTFO, new game, Lamau. And there's not a lot we can do about the present either. Not unless we think like we should have been doing all along. Like, my legs look pretty strong. Can't I just kick her? But there is no thinking as you drown. You desperately try to pull yourself back to the surface again. And again, and again. Your icy limbs flailing desperately against the grip of her rotting corpse. And all the while her ghastly figure stares down at you, expressionless. As unfeeling as the weight around your ankle. So are these two different people? She's clearly alive and dragging you down, but her ghost... I don't know. Your okay. arms fill with water, the same your mind filled with blood. In the end, we're not so different. Yeah, true. Okay. Oh. And then the hands take her away. Cool. Well, your lungs don't fill, nor will they ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Huh. 
Of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. We've been here before and you'll always and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. You're nah. right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. It's just an achievement. Her looking in the you mirror. Don't need to comfort them. <laughs> okay. Fair. It's not the end. Whatever's going on, uh, whatever's on the other side is going to be nice. It's the end of you for you, but not for me. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Approach the mirror. Fuck it. It's going to okay. be fine. If you say so, we'll trust you. Feels too good to be true. Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Thank you. Approach the mirror. Just take a look, see. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always le makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. The bloat, you've grown. Oh. What the fuck? We have like wings or something? What the hell is that? Or like extra legs? Okay. Okay. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. <laughs> sure. Approach her. When I found you in the long quiet alone, I was terrified. What if you had decided to let me with her? Okay. Well, we got the second one. <laughs> but your commitment now is final. Your ability to walk the path of mutual annihilation is vanished with your return. If you still wish to obliterate me, it will have to wait until I am complete. Oh, interesting concept there. I have to complete her to kill her. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. More hands? Or you have legs this time? Whenever you are ready, <laughs> I will wipe your slate clean once again. All right, I'm down. Uh, are you the same being as you were before? How many, how much have you, how much have you changed? Uh... What does it feel like to change like this? And this is all done. Do you know what will you want to do? Okay, I'm going to be asking all these questions. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Okay. Just giving her more personality, maybe. Uh, everything you s say feels like a riddle. Can you give me a straight answer? I'm sorry. Words are difficult for me. They never fully weave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, then you need not ask me questions. All right, fair. And you know what? Same, lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I sit in a room and talk to the myself. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. Okay. What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Okay. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature. And there are familiarities that bind everything together. Okay, that's quite the odd way of just saying, you know, memories, pretty much. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. Okay. Uh, when this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. 
Okay, bitch. You don't need to fucking get all. <laughs> I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. Okay, true. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. Well, that doesn't seem too bad. <laughs> uh, hopefully no foreshadowing. Uh, you know, at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? Okay. Uh, when I go back, <laughs> it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Huh. You've been kinder to me than anyone I've met. Thank you. I'm still gonna fucking kill you, though. Like, that's my goal? Am I wrong? I don't know. Maybe she stops being a bunch of hands and maybe turns into, like, an actual nice person. Maybe I don't want to kill her. We'll see. Uh, why can't I do the same things as before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Okay, yeah, so when I kill him, that's it. No more. Good to have that confirmed, at least. Uh, you've been kinder to me than anybody else I've met. Why? Ooh, I can thank her or ask why. What do you want to bring me? What do you want me to bring next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. I mean, it makes it a hell of a lot easier for like Christmas or anything like that, you know? Do not worry. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. That's awesome. Can I just like cash app you or like, do I have to physically buy something? <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is guarded sorrow. She saw herself as alone, but in the end had the courage to share with another. She will make for a deep heart. Interesting. So, now that she has this ghosty one, does that mean I can go back to the drowning place and kill the drowning one, the bloated one, without her interfering? That'd be an interesting path. Do not path. mourn her. She has finally been heard. Okay. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so don't... Ha so you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. I don't know what I'm doing, lady. I'm literally just here <laughs> to fucking kill women. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't want to hurt you, but more times I, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. Uh, what do you feel about me? The vessels I've been bringing you, they've, I've heard them. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have given me enough to build a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. Keep killing. Got the it. The task of finding my vessels is your burden to carry. But why? <laughs> uh, destroy your body, attack the entity. Ooh, or I'm ready to go back. Oh, those are some interesting options, honestly. So if I kill myself, do I continue in this timeline? But I already gave her that one. So I feel like I need to go back. I don't want to attack her just yet because she's not even whole. I want to kill her when she's, I want, I want, I'm like Goku, brother. I want to fight you at your strongest. Come on now. I'll give you a sensu bean and whoop your ass. Um. Honestly, I kind of want to see what this does. 
If this sends me back, then it didn't matter. But if this continues this timeline and I get like a chapter four or something, that'd be interesting for sure. Let's try it. Okay. You raise your will to end your own, your life, uh, but as it buries into the space your body should be, you feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. Okay. Okay. Well, that didn't matter. Yeah, I'm ready to go back. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. Yep. We will meet again. Yep, hopefully. Everything goes garg and you die. Lamau? Bring the drowned Bray to her. Oh. You're on a path in the woods. And yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Did that count as the drowned lady? That's odd. Okay. I don't give a shit about any of this. Uh, in the world, what are you talking about? Yeah, this is all, let's just go. You make your way up. A warning. She will lie. Yeah, We're not yeah, gonna yeah, go yeah, yeah. Him. Proceed to the cabin. We, we schmoovin. We going through this. The interior of the blade cool. is... Uh, take the blade. You take the blade from the... Enter the basement. We're gonna... The door to the basement... Her voice... Who's there? She sounds... This girl again. Uh... Continue Good. down the stairs. You're still listening to reason. Yep. You walk down the Main stairs... Main girl again. ...and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist binding her to the far wall of the basement. Okay. So what I want to do here, I want to kind of retread my steps to where I cut off her hand, but then I actually stab her in the back without warning her. She's so coldly beautiful. Focus on the task at hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there you are. Are kill you here to something? kill me or something? I'm just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about- She makes a compelling point. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop it. <sighs> the blade tumbles out of- Thank you. Maybe now we can just- Against your better judgment, <laughs> you step forward to speak with- We'll be fine. We'll be I fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying are. to gain her trust. What an awkward start to a relationship. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? I kind of do want to- uh, Yeah, there we go. <laughs> don't jump to- <laughs> I just want to say that. Uh, okay, we talked. Oh, have you just- You know why you're here. That was quick. Uh, I'm here to get you out of here. Examine the chains. Keep her locked away. I'm here to get you out of here. Oh, you have to be key. You walk up to the chains, binding their large Tug on and them. heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Maybe no. it's somewhere else doubtful. Whoever locked the princess. Okay. And if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas? Well... You do have that big, sharp knife. She speaks with almost complete If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out. You attempt to make your way. Is someone else here? Okay. Return to the bottom of the stairs. You make your way easier, easier for everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I the door slam. The yeah, knife. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick it up and... You won't like what Save the princess. Against your better judgment, <laughs> you place the blade okay, in the yeah, cup. Yeah, the blade yeah, is sharp. Yeah, yeah, she didn't yeah, so much yeah, as usher. Yeah. Free from her bindings, the princess cool. turns. How cool, is she cool, so cool. composed after? Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Yep. Approach the locked no, door. We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess yeah, approaches the go. bottom stair, your body. Wait. This isn't fair. You can't watch me. Yeah. You bring the <gasps> blade down and plunge it into the prince. Okay. There's no going back now. Though the blade left a deep gash in her shoulder, she barely so much as flinches, turning around to stare at you incredulously. Hey, bitch. Are you serious? <laughs> that, that, that is an expected reaction. Are you kidding me, bro? I don't know what came <laughs> over you, but if we're doing this... I guess I'll have to kill you. Okay, bring it on. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? I can beat you to death with one. 
The confidence is terrifying. I'll be real. But I don't have to tell you that. I'll go ahead and show you. All right. Let's do it. Give up. Nah, let's kill her. Thank you. You swing your arm towards her throat, the blade singing through the air. But she's ready for it. She grabs your arm, her grip like a stone vice. Jesus Christ. You drop oh, the blade. Oh my God. Pathetically. Holy shit. How strong is this bitch? She lets go, and faster than you can react, rears back and hits you with a bone-shattering haymaker. Why There's is she the toughest ears. fucking You're one at all these? You can feel bone grinding against bone where she fractured your jaw, but your body isn't allowing you to feel much right now, adrenaline coursing through your system and numbing your nerves. You fall to your knees. You're barely able to bring your trembling arms up to defend yourself before she hits you again. God damn it. Every blow is as punishing as the first. You feel bones shatter with every impact, unknown ruptures blossoming with blood somewhere inside of you. All right, well, I tried. You poor thing. I'll go ahead and put you out of your misery. Yep. Yeah. Thank she you. She places a confident <laughs> heel on your chest and pushes you down to the ground. Her knee falls to your throat, your windpipe crushed beneath a weight you didn't think her slight form could possibly possess. Yeah, she's she's the scary one for Can't sure. Just end like this, right? I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. Womp womp. I tried. The tower. Ooh, we got a new one. You're on a path. You're yeah, yeah, here yeah, yeah. To slay her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting deja vu. Shut up. Go to the cabin. Let's see what's up. A warning. Before you go any she will be yeah, 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 yeah. You're being annoying. Oh shit, hold up. Can we go back? The voice of the broken. Okay, proceed to the can. Uh warning, uh shall lie, whatever. Voice of the broken. We might as well just plunge ourselves to uh pledge ourselves to her and stop pretending we're capable of doing anything in this situation. Uh she probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. Uh, can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? Uh, I'm not being pessimistic. I'm being realist. Just ignore that. You're being annoying. Like, whatever you do, okay. don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. I agree. If she's wrongfully imprisoned, then we should rescue her. But if he's telling the truth, we shouldn't just hand her the world on a silver platter. I don't know, that's interesting though. Rescue her? Given the stakes of the situation, there isn't really a difference between rescuing her and pledging yourself to her. Either would be terrible. So please, try to ignore both of those knuckleheads and focus on saving the world. Let's not make this harder than it has to be. Yeah, okay, let's if go that's inside. that's what you want, I guess I don't have a say here. I mean... I don't really plan on pledging my loyalty. The interior of what the cabin the is larger is and more grandiose now? than its humble exterior would suggest. The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Okay. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this. Why do we feel so small? Oh my god, am I shrinking? <laughs> we don't feel small. We are small. Oh no. Oh no, are we... <laughs> are we gonna be fighting a giant? <laughs> is this not gonna be another Snoo Snoo incident? Well, we'll find out next time. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, look at this mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the bed. What are yeah, you yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't a wall. It's a a mirror wipe off the mirror yeah yeah yeah, forward, yeah. We should count ourselves lucky okay we're gonna take Something the blade take the blade from the altar it would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon okay next time we'll definitely see what the hell this one's up with uh that was pretty interesting got to replay a bit there and uh same outcome unfortunately we did get another princess down lamau uh, get fucked, loser. You suck. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we get another one in the next one. I'll see you in the next one.